everyone today I have a new video for you this is gonna be a fall clothing haul it's not gonna be a try on haul because I do plan to show you everything that I bought on my blog <clears throat> every Friday I'm gonna upload a fashion Friday and hopefully I'm going to try to improve the quality of my video photos my fashion photos but I'm gonna try so let's go ahead and jump into the haul. A lot of things I got from New York and Company, I did place a large order with them. I do like <clears throat> ordering from New York and Company because they just have a lot of great sales and a lot of good quality things. I will link everything down below. I also want to talk to you a little bit about the trends that we'll see. So I think a big trend is going to be the cut out shoulders. Um, I just think that all, all fall, all summer they were here, everybody was wearing cut out shoulders and I don't think it's gonna go anywhere for fall either. This shirt, um, it is bodycon, so it is going to hug the body, but the ruching down the side is flattering and it does kind of help in the areas that you don't want to, um, that you want to be flattered a little bit more. The next thing that I got from Yurkin Company is this blazer. I always like to buy a nice blazer. This is really good quality. It's nice, thick material. It's a really good jacket. It's got these um, gold, um, like, edged buttons, and um, it's just a really good uh, jacket. Well, I live in Dallas, Texas, so it's not that cold just yet. We can still get away with wearing shorter sleeves or things like that. So the first shirt that I have here is this sort of off the shoulder top. This goes off the shoulder like that. Um, and the material is this olive color. Apparently I'm I'm into olives and greens. Uh, I didn't even realize, but everything that I got is mostly <laughs> olives and greens. But <clears throat> this has just a lacy detail and it is very flattering. The material is really, um, the lace material, it, it is a little bit thicker, so it's a little bit better for fall. And um, I really think that this is really flattering. So this is another off the shoulder top. I have worn this already. This goes off the shoulder like that. And it does have this kind of um, strap that just goes around the neck. It has like a sheer sleeve, but the body does have like a black um, kind of extra layer so that it's not all see-through and I really just love the um, fall, the print it's very fall appropriate um, you can wear floral in the fall it just has to be a little bit less springy the colors a little bit more muted a little bit more fall colors I got both those tops at New York and Company this top I got at JC Penney it's a gorgeous color I love this emerald green color and it is a peplum top I find that with my body type, I do have an apple shape, so I'm heavier in the middle part of my body, and I go kind of thinner as I go down, but <clears throat> this really uh, flatters that body shape, so if you have an apple body shape, um, brushing on the sides and peplum will really help. But anyway, this is a gorgeous color. It does have like a zipper detail down the back, and the peplum is a little bit high low so the front is a little bit higher than the back peplum and i really think that that's flattering another thing that we're we have been seeing is the 90s trend and um i bought this dress to kind of you know play up that trend but i can also wear it um and make it more modern as well so it's just a black kind of slip dress in the 90s they had a little the the texture was velvet but this is more this is cotton so it still kind of brings it back into this decade <laughs> it does have a split down the side here <clears throat> just one and it is just kind of a line or just straight down it doesn't um the 90s weren't really about flare that was more like the 80s like with the peplum but the 90s were just like um straight up and down like that boxy kind of shape <clears throat> so um i will show you um i do think that you can put like a um top underneath it so that it will be more fall appropriate but i think this is a really good dress with some combat boots it's so 90s and even like a white top a white tee underneath 
it's super nice. Another dress that I really like and it has that off the shoulder detail. This is um, from a company that I saw online. As you can see, it's got the flowers, but as I mentioned before, the flowers are more fall um, covered. It has some buttons down the front and it is has this sheer um, dress, but it has like a short black um, little slip underneath. So it, ha it does show like, uh, the leg but it's sheer and then the back here is sheer so this does show you the back so I think a big trend that's going to hit this fall and it has already been hitting is the t-shirt dress this is from Target and it's just a t-shirt dress it does uh, go down and it has this sort of like um, cut here where the back is longer than the front uh, I've seen some where the back is very dramatic like the back is very much longer in the front it the split goes up the side so um, there's going to be a lot of variations of this but I find that this is the most easiest and just simple dress to wear you just can throw it on with some booties you can put some tennies on it um, some little sneakers some of those little slip on type or you can really dress it up even wear like boots and um, tights underneath so these t-shirt dresses you can put a lot of jewelry on or um, really simplify it with the long necklace. It's just very um, versatile. This is another t-shirt dress. However, this has the ruching on the side, which as I mentioned before, is very flattering. And it has a scoop neck. It does have a short sleeve and it's black and white, but <clears throat> it is long. It goes under the knee, sort of to the mid calf. And I just really like it. This is from JCPenney as well. This is another t-shirt dress. Um, I did wear this in New York, but I think it's more fall appropriate. It has a um, longer sleeve and still that scoop neck. And the uh, ruching is a little bit tighter, so you can kind of pull it up and make it a shorter dress. But I think that these, again, are so versatile for fall. They're very easy going. You just throw this on and you can wear any shoe with it and it really will go, it really will, um, be able to be dressed up or down it's just however you want to go with it i have two dresses that are really perfect for an event out or for thanksgiving that's coming up i am going to wear this for all uh, thanksgiving with my family um, because we do like to dress up i don't know if your thanksgiving is the same but my family does this is from yorking company it is a gorgeous dress the material is very good quality i feel like it has a zipper um detail in the back which is gold the main focus though is this kind of uh, laced up design here. It is uh, on the side so it's not down the middle or anything. I think the lace, um, this kind of uh, lace up or woven, I don't know how you really would say it. I think it's more lace up, right? Uh, it's going to be really in for fall. It does have a split under that and it is bodycon, um, but still comfortable enough that you can still eat a lot, I feel like. <laughs> Just throw on a good pair of Spanx. So I'll be wearing that for Thanksgiving and I'll show you my Thanksgiving outfit as well. And the last dress that I have here is another one from New York & Company. It has that um, lace up detail as you can see here, which again I think is going to be really big for fall. It does kind of go right up to the shoulder and, or to the neck and it has like a leopard print design. It is very bodycon, but again with the leopard design, you don't really, it's it kind of hides or camouflages and um, it goes right down under the knee and i think that it's a gorgeous dress it has like a little bit of a longer sleeve and i have already worn it on my instagram but i will um put it on my blog just to take better pictures of it but it's a really gorgeous dress as i mentioned and i really really have been looking for a leopard dress like this one and that's sort of like a classic dress the only thing that's more updated is this lace design but <clears throat> design but it still um, gives it a classic look <clears throat> pat I really wanted to mention these because I really love these pants they're from um, the Soho they're from the um, Jennifer Aniston like I guess she has a line with New York and company these are so flattering honestly this um, kind of um, detail here on the side that runs through the side of the leg is so flattering it makes your leg look really slim and long and then um it's just 
hugs the booty and the body at the just perfect places. I really am impressed with her jeans. I have another pair here as well. These are black and they have that coated um, kind of feel to them. They're a little bit more high-waisted, but um, again, they have that like line that goes down the side. And that line right there is so flattering. It just makes your thigh look really thin. It has zippered pockets and it does go high-waisted as I mentioned. These are just some pants that I always get every fall. I go to uh, in September, we always end up going to Austin, and Austin has a store that always has these Michael Kors pants for like 50 bucks, and um, they're just skinny and very dark wash. I feel like everyone has to have a very dark wash jean in the fall. And then I'm going to share with you some of the shoes that I've been buying from New York & Company as well. These just red lace-up shoes, they're gorgeous. I think that they're very flattering. I love these. I haven't worn them yet, but I'm so excited to wear them. Another pair that I got by New York & Company is these kind of ankle um, Dior State pumps and they're just really for work, they're patent and um, yeah I bought them for work. I also bought a pair of booties, I have tons of booties already but all of the booties that I have have like a cat or a open toe but these don't have an open toe at all and that's what I like, liked about them. They're a bit higher than my no, mo, uh, normal booties so they go higher into the ankle or calf and they do have this like buckle detail here and I just really think that they're very versatile. I've worn them with shorts, I've worn them with jeans, I've worn them with both of these jeans and they just look gorgeous. I've even worn them with a dress. And then the last pair of shoes that I got from New York and Company, they're just these little slip on shoes. I'm actually going to wear them today with this outfit. Uh, I will show you on the blog the outfit that I have today but they're just um, slip on shoes. I think that I saw these from Michael Kors a while back and I wanted them but I just didn't want to pay 200 bucks for them and I got these at a good deal. And really quick, quickly I just want to go over some jewelry that I hit a few trends that I feel like are going to be very in. The first one is going to be chokers and um, we've seen them all summer and I don't think they're going away anytime soon. I think that in the fall they're going to be like hit those velvet colors or like uh, fall colors. I've seen them all over and I really didn't like them at first but I put one on and I, then I fell in love with them. So try them before you knock them. Another trend that I think we're going to see, this is a necklace by House of Harlow, is going to be that marble print in jewelry. So um, like marble necklaces or earrings. I've seen them already and I just think that it's really pretty. Actually this is, I will put close-ups uh, uh for you but this is just um, a really pretty marble necklace if your jewelry comes in these little velvet bags put it back in there just because it will help to keep it from oxidizing um, earrings um, they're by this brand called uh, stitch fix no rocks box and it's just like a subscription box for jewelry and I thought that it was really cool this one um, these earrings are um like long but they're very lightweight and i can't wait to wear them out this necklace my sister bought it for me it um it really is pretty it's perfect to dress up a sort of t-shirt dress or just a t-shirt or you can even wear it with a um like a dress to really glam it up but i really like it and it is from j crew and that's it for the jewelry i just wanted to talk on a few trends that I was um, noticing. For the bags this uh, fall, I always go out and buy a new bag, but this fall I really didn't want to buy a new bag. I wanted to really wear my um, vintage bags. I think fall is perfect for vintage. And these are some bags that I've had and I bought them at vintage stores, but I just want to encourage you to really check out your vintage stores nearby, through towns or anything like that for the bags because they're just really nice. This one is more of a work bag, it's like a messenger bag. It is real leather and um, it's got like all those pockets and everything, but it's really pretty. I don't even know who it's by, but I did buy it at a vintage store. One is another um, vintage bag. My uh, friend bought this for me when she went to Portland and I love, this is one of my favorite bags. And, um, Again, it's just vintage and it's perfect for fall. 
This bag I got a few years ago. Um, it's another vintage bag. I don't even know where I got it, but it has like that fringe detail. It's not too much, just a little bit, but I think it's perfect. This is like at least eight years old and it is real suede. They just don't make bags like they used to. They used to use real materials and they weren't that expensive. And nowadays for suede or leather, you're going to pay $200, $300. This is another bag. I think this color again is perfect for fall. It has like this ruched in detail and it looks it's one of those like um i don't know clamp bags i don't know how you call them but it's a vintage bag and i love it i think that this bag is perfect for fall and then this is another bag that's real suede as well this is another bag it's from um i believe it's from gap but it's at least 15 years old let me see here yeah, it is from Gap. This was my sister's bag. Um, she bought this when we were still in high school, so 15 years ago. And um, I really, really <laughs> love this bag. I would always ask her to borrow it, and she finally gave it to me. So um, I'm going to put this into my vintage category. But <clears throat> yeah, it is from Gap, so it's not that old. But um, I mean, it is a good 15 years old. But um, I just want to encourage you to go and try your Salvation Army, your um, thrift stores, vintage shops, anything like that for like those good quality suede and leather bags because you, you're going to find them for 60, 70, 80 bucks and nowadays you won't find a good quality bag like they used to have in like the 50s or 70s or 80s. So that's it. That's everything that I wanted to share with you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for keeping up with me and my um, Saturday vlogger days and I will post next Saturday a video on the makeup and um, perfume that I've been liking for fall as well. So stay tuned for that. Till next time, stay fancy.